Hey everybody, Nick here from Windy City Astrophotography. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean the sensor on your dedicated astrophotography camera. Let's check it out. So tonight, uh, looking at the weather outside, pretty cloudy. So no imaging for me tonight. But luckily for you, that means I'm going to be doing a maintenance task I've been putting off cleaning the sensor on my ASI 1600mm Pro. Now, over the past few months, I've noticed uh, kind of an oily spot, a smudge in my images on the lower border of them as I look at the images on my computer. And that indicated to me there was something there, something that wasn't supposed to be there in the imaging train, and it was quite in focus, which indicated it was very close to the sensor or maybe even right on it, which immediately set off some alarm bells. I was pretty concerned about what was going on. Well, I did some searching on the internet, of course, and found that this is fairly common, at least with the ZWO cameras. Apparently some oil can leak onto the imaging sensor from elsewhere in the camera. It's so common, in fact, that ZWO has a solution. Now, the solution isn't, okay, send the camera back and we'll fix it for you. The solution is you open up the camera yourself and clean off that sensor yourself, which when I first heard this, I thought there's no way I'm opening up this expensive camera, mucking around with that sensor and uh, trying to clean it myself. But I did a little bit more research on the internet, watched a few YouTube videos, and I guess that makes me an expert. So uh, we're gonna try it out. It doesn't look too bad, at least not as bad as I thought it would be uh, at the beginning. So uh, come on, let's check it out. So the first thing you want to do is gather your tools. The most important would be the cleaning swabs. Now there are plenty of sensor cleaning swab kits that you can buy online. So I picked one that was sized correctly for my camera with an APS-C sensor size. This kit comes with 12 swabs plus the sensor cleaning solution. And beyond that, you'll need a hex wrench that's the proper size. Mine was two millimeters. A screwdriver isn't strictly necessary here for what I'm doing tonight, but I included one since I wasn't sure how tricky it would be to get the desiccant tabs out. Also very necessary, a blower bulb to get the loose dust off and make sure that chamber is dust free when you seal it back up. I also wore gloves because I was pretty nervous about getting oils on something, but your bravery may vary. All right, first, take off the front piece of the camera. If you have a larger format camera with a tilt plate, you'll need to first remove that before taking the cover off. And then as you lift off the cover, you'll see the desiccant tabs on the inside. Now we'll get to those at the end, so just set that aside for now. All right, in this light, you can just barely see the oil smudge that's causing the issue here. It, it isn't very big, but that's what we're gonna be looking for to disappear as we clean. And make sure you've blown the bulb to remove any loose dust or particles in the chamber before you start cleaning. Now, unwrap one of the cleaning swabs and drop one or two drops of the solution on one side of the swab. And then holding it at an angle, drag it across the surface of the sensor in one smooth motion. And then using the other side, drag it back across in the opposite direction. Now, since there will probably be some residue left, you use a clean, dry swab to repeat the motion and get it spotless. The one thing you want to do here is not reuse a side that you already used against the sensor. Any amount of dust or grit or even some of that oily residue, you don't want to be re-spreading it across and potentially damaging the protective cover over the sensor. Now, I'll be honest, in my case, it took me a total of four swabs to get this done. There was a bit of residue to work off there. It's tricky because you don't want to overdo it or scrub in any way. Just a gentle motion across it, and it'll come clean eventually. All right, you've cleaned the sensor. Now pick up the cover. We're going to remove the desiccant tabs. They pop out pretty easily. While we have this in hand, you can also give the protective window a couple of drops and another swab with that cleaning swab especially if there's any sort of residue on the outside. All right, now to these desiccant tabs. Since we've opened this airtight chamber, we've introduced moisture. So we wanna dry out these desiccant tabs so they're ready to absorb that moisture as we seal it back up and return it to its very dry state. We don't want any condensation, any moisture, any dew problems inside that chamber. So ZWO recommends putting them in the microwave 
for two minutes on medium heat. When they come out, they'll be a bit hot, but while they're still warm, you want to do this almost immediately. Put them back into the spots on the cover and reseal the chamber. You want to do this as soon as you can. The desiccant tabs are already starting to absorb moisture, and you want them to be as dry as possible as the chamber is sealed so that they can spend most of that moisture absorption time getting all the moisture out of the air that's inside that chamber. If you take too much time doing this and they're already a bit swamped with moisture when you reseal the chamber, they're not going to be as effective and you may have some moisture issues inside that airtight chamber. And that's it. Once the camera is resealed, you should be good to go. I retook some of my flats immediately after to see and the sensor looked totally clear. So I'm ready for my next night of imaging. So that's pretty much it. It's very straightforward, not nearly as scary as I thought it was going to be when I was first contemplating opening up this camera and cleaning that sensor off. And of course, the sensor now as good as new. Now, I will say you can get away with having that kind of stuff on your sensor for a while. Of course, you could just crop off that section of the image, although we are losing some field of view there. Uh, you could also take a good set of flats, and that does neutralize it pretty well. But eventually, once you've worked up the nerve, you might want to get to this task yourself. So, have you done this before, or perhaps now you're a little bit more willing to give it a try? Definitely let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, definitely give it a like and subscribe to the channel, Windy City Astrophotography. We've got lots of great content that's going to be coming out, so I hope you join us. Clear skies, and we'll see you next time.